it is not easy to believe Jesus our Lord and Savior it's not easy except if God gave this belief as a gift do you believe God I said to people two weeks back believing is in two parts there is believing of the heart where Holy Spirit have affected you from within to believe the truth about Jesus Christ and there is another form of believing which is a mental ascent most Christian under the sun they are Christian by mental ascent not by belief that has been given by the Holy Spirit how do we distinguish between these two people the ones of mental ascent after they have prayed and believed God they look for an alternative in case their prayer does not work that is to tell you what you are dealing with but those who have believed God by the assistance of the Holy Spirit their belief is complete self integration you can't believe God when you are not self integrated the word righteousness holiness means the one who is united within his own members why is God considered to be holy why is he holy because God is one with himself although he has three members within himself what he say become a law constitution and he will honor what he have said that's why God is what is holy when you do what you say and when you are what you say you are self-integrated and you are holy your prayer as a Christian will reach the celestial order will reach the highest heaven the day when you are what you are self-integrated within yourself and when you believe God in this manner your belief will bring rain down are you listening the Bible says Elijah having been a man born of a woman for three and a half years he locked the heavens rain never came down until the day he unlocked and rain listened to him because Elijah was holy the belief of Elijah was so solid as if is Christ himself personally executing the duty the day when a Christian becomes self integrated with his members when he start to believe Jesus will come to the scene immediately because he will see himself in you your prayer is epileptic your Christian walk cannot find its footing because you are divided within your members 
within you there is a spirit there is a soul and there is a body until this kingdom is unified it will never stand neither will it reach God as a Christian you are a kingdom within yourself except if you are united within your members you will not be able to function with Jesus Christ are you united within yourself it brings me to the title of the message the ways of God tell your neighbor the ways of God except if a man be sent from God this one will not be able to understand the things of God except if a man be sent from God such a man will never be able to comprehend the workings of the kingdom most of people humanity they are only sent by God not from God there is a difference to be sent from God and to be sent by God a totally different occasion the Bible says there was a man sent by God from Judah by God's order he went he executed what the Lord have said but by culture of God's order he found it wrong and he became a meal of lions the Lord said to the man I am sending you to go and prophesy against the altar of Jeroboam this man he was sent by who? by God but he was not sent from God he went executed the duty but he failed because this man never knew the ways of God the Lord said to him thou shalt not eat he ate because he did not understand the ways of God but he only understood the instruction not the terms and conditions you meet a man King Saul sent by God but not from God the Lord said to him go and take a nation kill everything he went obeyed the command but not the terms and conditions he killed everyone but he spared the king and the fattened cows and God demoted him because Saul did not understand the ways of God it is important as a Christian not only to be sent by God but to be sent from God what does it mean for a Christian to be sent from God it means that this man going on assignment for God have what? a relationship you must have first fellowship with God have a relationship with God 
when you go as a mention from God you will not want to come alone you will want the presence to go with you the Bible says when God Almighty sent Moses he said do not send me except if you are coming with me Moses not only was he sent by God but he was sent from God he understood the culture of the celestial world I understand the command but without you my strength is inadequate most of us Christians we are delighted to carry his word without his personality without his being without his presence Hence, we are failing desperately in our work with God everyone can shout the name of Jesus carry the Bible but the question is is he with you it is possible to talk about God whereas God is not part of the activity tell your neighbor it is possible to talk about God to preach about God even to write about it whereas God is not part of what you are doing there are many churches many Christian meetings that are held in the name of God but not by his permission not by his authority Moses said to God if you do not come with us don't send us because he understands the complexity of the assignments of God anything that the Lord tells you to do however small it may be if you do not carry him with you it will swallow you Saul went in his eyes he had executed the duty he saw a great victory he destroyed everyone except the king Agag and the fattened cows according to him he deserved and a reward from God but instead the Lord cursed him because this man did not understand the ways of God to walk with Jesus and to go on his assignment except if you have started in fellowship with him is a dangerous mission most of you here the Lord have fired you wrong time yeah? most of you here Jesus have fired you wrong time he's still wondering what you are doing most pastors preaching in front of people God is still wondering because you are no longer employed according to the HR of heaven. Listen, if you work for a company and they fire you and you remain with the uniform, it does not mean you are still employed. Are you listening? if God rejects you when you wake up in the morning your Bible would not have disappeared it would still be there with all the letters yes. he has rejected you because 
we have not started by wanting to know him Moses says in Exodus 33 you have been telling me lead these people but you have not revealed yourself to me I want to know you as you know me that I may know your ways when you know the ways of God you will not rebel against him some of us we have rebelled against Jesus a long time ago and we are not aware long time we have rebelled this is the people that he's talking about when he says they will come and say Lord we preach in your name we cast out devils in your name and he says I will say to them I don't know you because you are fired the if you work for a company and you get fired when month and come and you go and look for salary they will not know you you are not in the system you have been blotted out because you have violated the culture principle and order of the company company some of you you have been blotted out and you don't know how do you know that a man have been blotted out they've been fired when they stand in front of people they talk about themselves I have a big jeep I have a big mansion I want to buy my wife a, a big SUV you know they are fired because they don't even receive anything from us. when nothing is given to you from the throne of God the alternative is to talk about the natural when a man start to deviate from what God have put before the church and start to talk about the natural world you know he has been fired they have corrupted their traffic a Christian that is more passionate about achieving the things of the world more than doing God's will you know this is the one that has been fired you even see the dress code but this one they cannot stand before the throne of God eh? pastor wearing pants without sock walking like this in front of Koreans. you know they have corrupted their traffic you can't come before God looking like that it is little things that are showing us who we are in God and who God is in our life little things we cannot walk with Jesus effectively until we have attained a relationship it is the relationship that made Moses effective in his work with God. 
Moses. Tell your neighbor. Maki. It is a relationship that made Moses to be effective in his work with God. Listen, don't go trying to do a job for God until you have a relationship with him. Relationship with him. Don't hear things, the gospel about God and you run wanting to talk the gospel until you hear the gospel from him directly. Paul became a valid testimony before the world because he received the instruction directly from the mouth of Jesus. If Papa tell you tell you that Jesus is Lord and you have not heard Jesus tell you that he is Lord the chances of you preaching what God has ordained is close to nothing this one had God telling him I am the Lord and he tell this one the Lord is the Lord he heard about and he tell this one and this one start to run around whereas he have not heard for himself don't attempt to go on assignment for Jesus until you receive encounter The reason why the world is such a mess is because people who are talking about God have not heard from God directly. They heard someone talking about God and they took the message, they ran with it. That's why the church is under attack. He said to me, many I have not sent, they have sent themselves because they had those that have been sent to me and they copied. The seven sons of Skiva. No one sent them. Jesus did not send them. They saw Paul, admired Paul, and what he was doing, and they went. The Bible says, the first time they did it, multiple times they did it, it worked. Until they met what? Steep opposition. A demon that was informed. And the demon looked at them and asked the question Jesus, we know. Paul, we know. Who are you? If God had not come to you through an encounter and you go on assignment for him, you might get injured. Hey. You know why? Why it's in the chin of Israel when they pray. They say God of Abraham. Because they are talking about a man who had an encounter with God. Except if you meet God, you can't refer to God as your God. When they say God of Moses, their prayer is valid because the instruction, the assignment was given to Moses. So, who is backing you up? 
whose name are you going? That have not come to you. That have not employed you. You are Eh? Some of you, when you come in the name of your spiritual father, you say, God of John, God of Tabo. God of Tabo. The heavens are saying, Who is Tabo? Because God never had a meeting with us. They don't know what you're talking about. When you come and say, How is Papa? God of Prophet Aaron, you must be sure that Prophet Aaron have had an encounter with Jesus. He hears from Jesus. He has a relationship with Jesus. Because you might be talking about a stranger. 